Uh, I don't have any news, but I know what I want though, and that's the main event, that card. That's everything I want, and I want to do it against Kelvin Gastelum. That's what I'm going for, that's what I'm pushing for. Let's make that happen. Is it likely, do you think? Do you have a good feeling that it's going to happen? I hope so, man, you know, and time-wise, uh, you know, I th feel like that's probably good for Gal Kelvin as well. You know, he had a hard fight with Adesanya, he needs some rest, and then we can go at it. Uh, hoping he's not injured, and I hope he's up for it. And what interests you about that fight? You know, how do you see yourself matching up against him? Uh, I want to beat the best guys in the division and Kelvin is definitely one of them and he's ranked above me so I think that's a good fight uh, to go for my run for the title. I think I match up against him very good because it, he's a great striker, a great boxer but I feel like I have a more all-round game and I think uh, you know the all-round game is the winner. What was it like uh, yesterday at the Q&A? Like, I mean, was that pretty mind-blowing to see the ovation that you got from the Swedish uh, fans? I mean, does it feel like this is getting bigger every time, given your, your, uh, you're even more on the mainstream now with the UFC after that Jackie Ray one? Yeah, every time, every day, uh, I just feel like I'm going like this now. And I really enjoy the, the ride on that rocket. And, uh, you know, I'm aiming for the sky, so I'm super happy to get that uh, uh, attention from the fans, you know, and uh, I want to give something back to them, so I hope for a great, uh, great fight in Denmark. Well, like, I mean, you, you've obviously seen the success of Gustafsson here. Like, do you think like you could one day reach that kind of acclaim in Sweden? I know he's a national icon, basically, the godfather of MMA in this country. Do you believe that you can get to that level someday in terms of the public appeal? Yeah, you know, uh, I'm sure that I can, you know. The Swedish people will be behind me, together with the Norwegian, you know. I represent uh, two countries, and I have them both behind me. And, uh, you know, if I'm going for that title, uh, everybody's going to be on that ride. What, what way do you see the fight with Kelvin going? Like, what, what appeals to you about that? Are you just strictly looking at numbers or is there something about his style that you like? <laughs> no, uh, to be honest, it's, it's about the numbers for me, you know. But also, you know, uh, people recognize him as a good fighter, you know. And uh, then there are a couple of other names, but they have uh, fight, fight books, you know. So I got to take what's available. And, uh, you know, I want to beat the best in the division, so when I get to the title, people think that I deserve it. I know you were speaking about a fight with Yao Romero for a while. What do you think of this lawsuit that he's after getting? Apparently oh, he's man. after 27 million. Yeah, people are talking about that, uh, but I still feel like he's going to go for it. He's going to go for it, and when he takes a loss, he probably is going to step uh, step up from the game. Would That's how I feel. Would you fight again if he got 27 million in a lawsuit? Yeah, I would actually, you know. My, my goal is the title, uh, you know. And uh, it's great with money, you know, but I want to make um, a mark for myself, you know, in this sport. And uh, legacy. yeah, legacy, 10, 20, 30 years from now, when you speak about MMA, I want to speak about Jack Hermanson. What is your impression of today's fights uh, so far? Uh, we got plenty of Swedish fighters uh, one today. Uh, how did you enjoy it? Oh man, I enjoyed the fight so much, and I'm really happy for the Swedes all wins so far so we have a couple of more and uh, i'm rooting for them great fight so far it's a part of you that it's hard to watch like because i know you were thinking even like but it was four weeks away from this but you were going maybe i could get on the car yeah <laughs> so you is, know is it hard for you to sit there and watch this I, I can say when i sit in there I'm, I'm shaking you know and it's itching in my knuckles and in my shins you know i want to get in there but it's nice to be on the side to watch it as well you know but i'm getting very motivated very pumped and i feel like oh man i gotta get a new fight now jack you're probably unique amongst uh, the athletes in norway and sweden right because when norway and sweden compete the norwegians hate the swedes and the swedes hate the norwegians but everybody loves you why is that man <laughs> <laughs> i don't know man I, I just chose to represent both countries and uh, you know, I, I hope that I have a kind of personality that uh, they think that uh, is good for the country. And uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I stand behind behind them, and then st they stand behind me. So that's how it is. And you know a lot of people in the game here as well. How is mixed martial arts in the Nord in the Nordic region in Norway, Sweden, Finland, the Baltics? The level is so high, man. And you're starting to see it, but you're gonna see it even more in a couple of years because you can see on the amateur side now, on the you know um, on the World Cup, uh, on the amateur side, how, how well the Scandinavian countries are doing. And everybody knows that the the level, the lowest level. Is is very very high in Scandinavia so uh, you know even this year I think we're gonna have a couple of more Scandinavians in there so uh, yeah we're, we're all about it uh, Jack, uh, Swedish TV, uh, yeah. Swedish Lufon, hey.
En seger mot Jackar. Ja. Okay. Du blickar fram och framåt och det pratas om Gastelum. Ja, men. Vad ser du i den matchningen? Nej, men jag tänker att eh, han är en av de personerna som är rankad över mig. Som är, som är ledig. Många av de andra har matcher inbokade. Och tänker att då är det den matchen som ger mening. Ehm, allt för mig handlar om en väg till titeln. Och jag tror han är en, en av de personerna jag måste slå för att komma dit. Att han är en av de personerna stilmässigt. Eh, är det mellan honom och dig nu till en contendership, alltså till utmanar position? Eller ser du att du måste möta fler? Nej, det, 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 det är en till som är möjlig. Det är jag och Kelvin om vi möts. Då kommer det att kanske, kanske den blir nästa titelutmanare. Men så har du också Joel Romero och Paolo Costa. Då. Om de möts, då är de i samma position. Så då kan det hända att vem är det som gör bäst performance, liksom vem får mest hype med sig efter de matcherna. Det är antagligen nästa person som kommer upp och, och möter de titeln. Och som sagt, du besegrade Jakare, Jåke Lendet gick på och där kommer det. Där det. Men stilmässigt, hur kommer Jåke hantera Gastelum? Du är väldigt allround och du har visat dig, de har ställt olika typer av fighters framför dig. Ja. Gastelum. Nej, jag känner att eh, alltså, jag vet vad hans styrka är. Han anv- använder sin brottning eh, defensivt och sen så använder han sin, sin boxning, liksom hans boxningskombinationer. Jag har kryss, det är typ hans go-to. Han, kör, han är grymt bra på det. Han har så många vapen, men han är bra på dem man har. Så jag tror jag vet vad jag kan förvänta mig där. Och jag kommer att pröva att vara oförutsägbar. Han vet inte vad som kommer från mig. Kommer jag prata ner, kommer jag köra med hans stående. Det har inte han någon om. Men eh, jag ser, ser fram emot att blanda det och jag tror det kommer bli för mycket för han. Vem hejar mest på dig? Sverige eller Norge? Nej, jag tror båda två hejar precis lika mycket. Det är en stor pay-per-view card som kommer upp i sommar. John Jones och Thiago Santos. Vad tror du om den här fighten? Hur tror du att det går ner? Ja, jag har haft några erfarenheter med Thiago. Så jag är rädd för honom. Och, you know... People are always talking about if you're gonna beat John Jones, you really have to go for it, you know. And uh, if it's somebody that can do it, it's Thiago Santos, you know. He has a reckless, wild, aggressive style, and uh, I hope he can shock the world. What about uh, Stipe? Obviously, he's getting the rematch against Daniel Cormier. How do you think that goes down the second time? Oh, it's a really hard fight to call, actually. Um, yeah, I, I can see it go go, go both ways, so uh, that's exciting. And then uh, if I could just get uh, Max Holloway and Frank Edgar, yeah. how do you think that will go down? You no, know, Max Holloway is so elite, you know. I love Frank Edgar, one of the old school guys, you know, and he's a great fighter.